Hello and good morning. Can't quite tell you how far up this path we are, but we are doing a sunrise hike up Mount Brandon. It is a beautiful morning. There is barely any wind. There's a bit of cloud in the sky, which is what we want because we're looking for a beautiful sunrise and that little bit of cloud helps hold the colors. Over there behind me, it's starting to get a little bit of color, but clarity today is really beautiful. You can see through the whole valley and we're having an awesome time going up this hike. Okay, so the sun has come up and it is so beautiful. It's just filling up this ridge. Oh my God, we're almost at the top. It just seems to keep winding and we keep thinking we're getting closer, but it just keeps going and going, kind of zigzagging nearly. So we're making our way there and we're having such a brilliant time. It's unbelievable up here. Wow. Layers, like a Viennetta. That's how many layers there are. Stunning. Got far to the summit, keep on pushing. Things don't always, always go to plan, especially on a hike. We had plans to reach the summit by the time uh, golden hour kind of came around, but wasn't to be, but we made our way kind of around the side of the mountain and we were met with sunrise over here and oh my God, blown away. It was just piercing through the sky, like an atomic bomb in the distance. And now we're gonna make our way to the top. There is a fog rolling in, like nothing too serious, but it's getting quite chilly and I don't think we'll be able to see much from the top, but we're hardly not gonna go up there after all this. So up on the summit of Mount Brandon, 963 meters. Views, unfortunately, aren't what we hoped for. Um, when we were about a couple of hundred meters from the summit, this cloud started rolling in. The light was breaking through, it was absolutely stunning. Uh, so we stopped, Harry stuck his drone up. Yeah, the clouds rolled in. Visibility was zero when I got to the summit. It's cleared up a little bit now, uh, but that's the fickle mountain weather, weather, especially here, Mount Brandon's right on the coast, the Atlantic on its doorstep. So yeah, that fog came in, went from clear to zero visibility in a matter of about 30 seconds. The views are still beautiful. We're gonna hang around, have some breakfast. Hopefully it clears up. We're heading back down. Today's hike is sponsored by Milbona, high protein pudding. <laughs> Might have one more Snickers. Snickers? <laughs> what time is that? It's half a steak. Is it? Mm. Took a bit longer than we thought. An hour and a half? An hour and 20. Oh. Maybe could have got here five, 10 minutes earlier if we'd like bolt her up, but. If Chris wasn't late this morning. Was I late? Chris was late this morning. Hindsight. I think we left at half six instead of getting there for half six, that makes yeah. sense. We got here at 6.45. Sun is peeking through now. Wow. Why are you eating raspberries with a spoon? Because I'm cultured. <laughs> oh my God, raspberries and Snickers. Good. Oh my God. Wow. You're using brownies, when you have a raspberry. Oh. Uh, it was actually a very solid hike. Yeah, that was tough. It was tough. I just didn't stop, did it? <laughs> Relentless. It was. You just kept going. I thought we were going to go straight up that. Yeah, I thought we. I think you can go up that. Straight up the face, but we came around the edge. But just well, we did because we wouldn't have caught that sunrise like that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. Christ! <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. All right, the lads have had a serious morning. It was unbelievable. Unfortunately, we didn't get the views that we wanted once we got to the top, but the views on the whole way up were incredible. 
just means we'll have to do it again. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. But, um, yeah, brilliant to tick off Mount Brandon. And time to head down and we're going to hit Slayhead. So just like that, we've made our way back down from the top of Brandon. We took the Saints Road up, which is the easier of the two routes. It was fantastic. The views were incredible. We, we were treated to an amazing sunset and the mist is still on the top of Brandon. It's nearly like a microclimate up there. So I'm glad we didn't stick around for too long. But as soon as you drop down about 50 meters, it clears off. And that viewpoint that we did find over there shows the Faha route, which is actually the harder route, and it looks stunning and something that I'd probably do in the summertime when you've got a bit more light, just take it a bit slower. It's gonna be a lot harder, but the views look incredible. So I'll have to come back and do that. And now, off to Schleyhead by. Yee-hoo! Some man for one man, Terry. So behind us is Klaher Strand, and the swell that's in here today is just amazing. The waves are huge, and they're just pummeling the coastline. It's creating an amazing mood, and we're getting some cool content and some great photos and video. And I think Nighty's enjoying his first time on the West Coast, well, in Ireland, anyway. What do you reckon, lad? Sensational. Sensational. You don't get this back home in Wales. <laughs> Now he's going to see Dunn Quinn for the very first time. How cool is that, lad? What do you think? Impressive. It's cool, isn't it? Very cool. Very dramatic. Yeah. It's one of my favorite spots. It's always very cool to come see.